to happen in Nigeria? Why? Ask yourself that question. Anybody telling you about one Nigeria is your enemy? I'll prove it to you now. Ujuku negotiated devolution, regionalism. The North will be on their own, the West on their own, even Middle Belt on their sorry, Midwest on their own, and then the East on their own. It's the same one Nigeria. On, on their way to the airport before they boarded the aircraft, a call came from Lagos, from the British High Commissioner in Lagos, to go on, telling go on not to agree. After having signed the agreement, that same go on you're looking at today, God kept me alive so that He can witness the destruction He will bring upon that very zoo called Nigeria. Go on said no. Do you know all the journalists in Nigeria? None of them have ever gone to. Has ever gone to go on to ask him why did he say no to Aburi? Aburi was restructuring. None of those agitating for restructuring right now has ever gone to go on or gone to Nigeria to say that Ujuku negotiated restructuring. What happened? They came back and they said no. Ujuku said okay. So you want to continue to kill my people all over the place? No, because of that I'll declare Biafra. Today they have brainwashed all of you with the perverse notion and thinking that somehow Ujuku is responsible for causing a war when opposite is the case. If not now, that after many years of hammering on this very topic, it has now sunk into the skull of the people that go on was the aggressor, not Ujuku. That's how Nigeria is, always blaming the victim. And we lost over 5 million people during that very genocidal war. They killed over 5 million Jaffans. They wanted to wipe us away from the face of this very earth. But we survived it. And we are here today. Those they gave birth to, they have come. And this time with a wrath that you cannot even begin to imagine. And their friend must come. It must come. But at the end of it, I don't want to go because these things are all, the tapes are available. The records are there. In fact, only about two weeks ago, I saw a set of the records again. The transcripts are available. But we talked about the Nigerian situation. And, certainly, at the end, everybody says, oh, you told them this, you did that. The fact was that our case was so clear that I actually, I actually believe at the end of Aburi that the problem was not the one but probably some ambassadors in Lagos who were uh, pressing for something else because we understood each other, we agreed on every single point the drafting was in fact my chief secretary with two other chief secretaries from the other side, they said, no, 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 and drafted and agreed, we looked at it, we agreed. General Ankara read over the whole uh, report again to us at the end, asked us if we wanted to amend anything, no. At the end of all that, the position was so good that actually Ankara drove Jack, Gawan and myself to the airport. Jack was sitting on his left, I was sitting on his right. He was in the middle. And in the course of that journey, at, at a point, General Ankara shook his head and said, oh, thank you, thank you, if only we can go on like this, everything would be all right. I believe, I was the one, as I do now from time to time, I go for the dramatic, suddenly I picked up Gawan's hand, put it on Ankara's lap, brought my other hand, placed it on it, and I said, 
General sir, hold us together, I want to say something. So General Ankara put his hand on top of the two hands and I said, General, I want to assure you that I am totally satisfied with everything we said. I will even go further and say to you something I did not say at the conference, and that is that once we have implemented everything we have said, I would ask you for one favor and one favor only, and that would be to be the one to propose Jack Gawan as a head of state of Nigeria. It was a two-day conference of peers and old mates, but its aftermath produced even further controversy. At Aburi, yes, we agreed on um, area commands for the armed forces. At Aburi, we agreed that the police force would be decentralized. We agreed on those. Yes, we agreed even to show that we didn't separate at Aburi we also agreed on certain revenue formula that's what happened at Aburi Aburi again because I always end up it sounds odd today but I always end up by saying I must have been naive because I believed actually that that would be the end I'll confess to you, when I got back to Enugu, oh yes, I had it, I mean, I had a party, believing that probably the danger was over. That's what we thought. Until they then began to deny everything. It was the denial of Nigeria that made me publish the tapes of Aburi because we had insisted that each one should have a set of tapes. Everybody talks about confederation. Go and look at the transcript. There is no time that the word confederation came from my lips. In broad terms, Aburi changed the title of head of state from supreme military commander to commander in chief. It gave the regions control over internal affairs and concurrence of each region was now required for any decision affecting the whole country.